So we're sitting in this office. What was your involvement with this? So Delight are uh, the company that ran the Fempire mm. event that we both went to. They were moving into their new office and they wanted someone to design it. Inspiration and influences I was given with very early 90s, late 80s, vaporwave, pastels. Within a month we'd conceived the idea, painted the whole office, I hand painted the murals, we created artwork and made a curtain room as well. Do you get involved with chatting to people that come and see your exhibitions? Yeah, that's my favourite thing. I'm always so full of nerves when I show my work. It means so much to me when people take the time to tell me that they like something I've done or ask me about it. I love it. What emoji do you use most? Cry laughing. And I also love the mind blown one. How would you describe your personality? Anxious. <laughs> oh really? I like having fun and I like having a laugh. I do struggle quite a lot with self-doubt and anxiety and I'm always trying to quash that down. But I think ultimately I'm okay at overcoming it mm -hmm. and I just want to be everyone's friend. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. What was your first job? I did a paper round for years when I was like 13. I used to have a pink hands-free set for my Nokia. I used to like cycle around to all my friends while I like delivered papers. Then I worked in market research at a call centre for years and years while I was at uni. First real job I worked at the New Zealand Herald and I worked as a Mac operator producing ads. So that was quite repetitive. It gave me a really solid base in terms of being a graphic designer and working at a pace. But I eventually left that to just do my own thing. How did you go from working for people to working like for yourself? Everything I do comes out to social media and that I've shared something and it's led to something else. Yeah, you're definitely the most famous person I've interviewed so far. You've got <laughs> so many followers. Oh my god, it's unreal. Not in the grand scheme of things. For my last year of uni, I designed a range of fabrics and I'd shared those. I had a shop in Wellington contact me and oh so that kind of snowballed from there that I would make a few things and I'd sell them. At the same time, I'd pitch to illustrate a children's book. So I did that while I was working at Herald as well. I was building up my own business and producing art prints and selling those. I went part time and then I left. So I was really lucky that I had an employer who was really flexible and also that I had a couple of stockists who helped support me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and took charts on me. How would you describe to someone who doesn't know your art what oh. kind of art it is? I think what I do mostly is I probably call myself a colorist. Loose, vibrant, bright bold style. It's always got a bit of a like a sort of scratchy handmade aspect to it mm. and I just believe more is more and I don't work in a very methodical way I just kind of go with what I feel. What's your favourite sandwich? If I could only have one sandwich for life it would just be a, a good old peanut butter sandwich on like a multi grain bread with super crunchy peanut butter. I love peanut butter so much. I love 